tearing apart a compact Pisario just to see what's inside of it before um, making any upgrades to it if my father wants it. It's his old desktop from 2004. Anti-static mat, anti-static wristband to prevent from ESD and damaging any internal components. Look here on the back up here is the power supply. It's got its own fan to keep it cool. Uh, the AC plug-in. Uh, indicator showing that there's power to it. PS2 ports for your keyboard, mouse. Uh, they're also color coded. Color coded. Um, they're not always color coded. Sometimes they'll just be black. Normally it's this one that's always a mouse. This one's always keyboard. Uh, parallel port, serial port, VGA port. Your four USB ports on the back. Ethernet cord. And e um, uh, blah, blah, blah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Firewire port, uh, mic, audio out, audio in, networking card in it for telephone. I don't know what desktop is. Telephone networking. All right, let's get on that right here to open. It's actually really simple. Now, hook up to the case, anti-static mat, and the anti-static wristband. Alright, this is your power supply. No technician really works on them in the field. What I've read so far, they normally just replace those because all the capacitors in it can still hold voltage. And there's capacitors all over the place. Um, that can retain voltage that can hurt you. So that's why you always unplug and work safely. Um, behind this fan and heat sink is the CPU, otherwise known as processor. Down here is the uh, AGP slot. And then your PCI 1, 2, and 3. The third one has the networking cord in that has the phone outlet on the back. You can add a video card or different different variety of things, depending on if the software can support it and hardware. Here are your memory slots. They are um, DIMM slots for uh, your memory, which is your RAM, random access memory. Currently, you won't believe it, but currently it has a 256 megabit <laughs> uh, card in it which is nothing compared to nowadays, you know. You got four, six, or eight, typically, in modern computers nowadays. All right. Uh, SATA, SATA, cable, um, SATA connectors. So if you were to hook up a, well, I don't know, new hard drive, since this hard drive is actually a 40 gig hard drive. Yeah. I, you have flash drives that hold almost as much as that or more. Um, in here, actually I'll show you more in just a second, on the back of your uh, DVD uh, CD player. Alright, to take off the front, I push down here, and then I come in here and move this tab over, and that tab, that tab over. Just remove the front panel, set you down for just a second. It's easier to stand the computer up to do this part. <laughs> I know, it's not magic. DVD ROM player, so it doesn't actually burn DVDs like your modern computers anymore. But it will read and write compact discs, so your CDs, which are old school. This is kind of useful because most laptops have a card reader. This has a multimeter, uh, a multi card reader, um, just not in one slot like your laptops do. This actually has four, and then the uh, 2.0 USB, which actually supports up to 480 megabits of uh, transfer speed per second. Nothing compared to the new uh, 3.0, which is 
commonly referred to as a super speed, which can support up to 5 gigs per second. Two more USB slots, and then a firewire, and more audio. Right down here is your hard drive, 40 gigs, of course. Right here, this little panel, if it focuses. <laughs> anyway. I know it's so blurry, but this is an extra expansion slot, say for a new hard drive, which would be recommended for this old computer. And then another expansion slot for anything else I might need. You know, if I want a different, if I actually want a DVD burner or Blu-ray player, it can be hooked up there depending on if I add a new video card to it and if it would support it. All right, that's everything for now. The motherboard, if you can look at it, I believe it is a uh, mini ATX, not a micro because the micro is even smaller. Because a normal ATX board uh, should be just a hair bit bigger. Um, but if there are any, hmm, any of my friends that are ITs or ETs out there can actually tell me if this is an ATX or a uh, mini ATX. I believe because of the tower it's in, it's not a normal, well, it's a mid-sized tower. But anyway, that's all, that's all for this, until I learn more. Alright.